Welcome to 21 Days of Prayer and Fasting. We're excited to have you on board. And so I want to take a few moments here just to encourage you as you begin. Fasting doesn't change God. It doesn't change God's desires. We're not manipulating God to do anything, anything for us. Fasting changes us. And what, here's what fasting is. It's leveraging our natural appetites and giving up what we most want to serve like an, app, like an alarm clock to focus our attention on God so that if we give up food or a certain type of food or if you give up coffee or social media or TV, every time you want that, it's an alarm clock to remind you to focus your attention on God. But what, are, what is God trying to accomplish in your life through this season of fasting and prayer? Well, I love this passage in Isaiah chapter 58 where he's talking about the call to fasting. And the, the prophet writes on behalf of God, is not this the kind of fasting I have chosen? To loose the chains of injustice, to untie the cords of the yoke, to set the oppressed free, and to break every yoke. And he says, if you will fast the right way, with the right heart, and the right motivation, then your light will break forth like the dawn. Your healing will quickly appear. Then your righteousness will go before you, and the glory of the Lord will be your rear guard. Then you'll call, and the Lord will answer. You will cry for help, and he will say, here I am. Here's what I want to challenge you. Would you take some time to read that passage? Pray, God, what do you want me to gain most through this season of fasting and pray? God wants to meet you. He wants to change you. He wants to empower you.